Hi, my name is Jason Phelps. I'm a licensed social worker trained in social work at McGill University and I have a private practice as a psychotherapist. I think that we have to, to be human is to recognize our vulnerability. We're, we're powerless over most things that go on around us in the world, that we have this idea of an omnipotence and that we control things and we have autonomy and independence. You ask me if I have a God complex? Let me tell you something. I am God. But if we, you know, if the guy who doesn't make the bread, makes the bread, doesn't make the bread or turn on the light or turn on the water or if, you know, the person who's supposed to, you know, pay the, you know, pay my, my fees, it doesn't, you know, work, nothing works. Everything comes together. We're interdependent. We rely on each other. So in relying on other people, how do we connect with them? How do we allow ourselves to feel like there's a genuine relationship? Um, we accept in, in our, our, our interdependence on others. We accept our powerlessness in most situations, our reliance on other people to get things done. If we accept that, then all of a sudden our needs need to be considered in relation with the needs of others in which we engage. And that means we have to put our ego aside in order to relate properly with someone else. Because there's no longer just one ego in the set. You're getting on that plane. I don't understand. What about you? I'm staying here with him till the plane gets safely away. No, Richard, no. What has happened to you? Last night, last we, said night we said a great many things. Typical masculinity is based on individual isolation from the rest of the world. No male heroes have families, children, or any kind of meaning respon meaningful responsibilities towards anyone but themselves. The, the male hero icon is always a lone man, never relating to anyone else, never having to submit to the will or desire of someone else. And this is a problem because in a relationship we always have to work with the other person. We have to tamper our own will in order to work and engage with the wills of the people in, in which we're relating. And the more we do that, the more we come into touch with things like fear and sadness. The more connected I am with you, the more fearful I am of losing you. The more meaningful our relationship, the more sad I will be when, when you say something that hurts. So. For men to be connected in a meaningful relationship means, by nature, they're also going to have to accept feelings of sadness and fear, which are scary, um, but can lead to beautiful things.